Okay, so this question, I think for some of you, you might get stuck in part A. So if let's say you get stuck in part A, you can continue to use this to answer part B. Okay, so it's a case where you can um, uh, use and continue because there is only one mark. Okay, so the whole idea on question A, part A, is to use similar triangle. So the proof is actually done by similar triangle. Okay, so I will show you two ways of doing it. Uh, you see which way that you prefer. First of all, um, you must understand that diagram A is the actual one. So it's like an inverted cone, so the water is at the bottom. Diagram B is the cross section. So you can visualize the similar triangle from the cross section. So the triangle will be this one. And this one. Okay, you can take the bigger one also can. So if you decide you want to take the big one uh, versus the small one also can. Okay, so I prefer to do it like uh, a smaller version as long as I can see that they share the same angle. Okay, so if you can't see it, right, then maybe I suggest that you can draw them out separately. You can draw the 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 blue one out so that it's actually clearer. Then you can draw the bigger one up. So I would think that if you draw um this two, it will be clearer. So what I first did was I visualized this and then you do not need to prove the similar triangle. So if you look at my answer key, I actually say just using similar triangle. So I never mention much. So using similar triangle, you take the ratio. Okay, it doesn't matter how you take the ratio. You can take this over this. Uh, you can do a H over R equal to a 20 over 10. Or you can do a H over 20 equal to R over 10. It doesn't matter. You, you will still get the same thing. Okay. So what I did was I did h over r equal to 20 over 10. That means height radius, the ratio will be the same. So after this, I actually reduce to a nice number that enable me to cross multiply. So I actually get h equal to 2r. Okay, then, but the question wants me to prove donkey, d, donkey. So the depth of the water. So how is the depth of water related to H? So if you look carefully, the depth that we are interested here is actually 20 minus H. So if you look carefully, D is 20 minus H. So if you have transferred the H that you gotten from your similar triangle, then that will be your 20 minus 2R. So you, if you do it this way, you directly shown it. Okay, so that's exactly what I did. Okay, um, another way will be um, some students, they never write it as a H. So some students, they didn't write it as H. So some students see it directly as this is 20 minus D. So some students see it as 20 minus D. Yes, you can do it as well. If you see it directly as 20 minus D, then you can do the same thing. 20 minus D over R is equal to 20 over 10. You will still get the same answer because you will get a two. If you cross multiply, you get a two R. If you make D the subject, you still get this. So this is also done by similar triangles. So both way will be acceptable. It's your choice, as long as you can see the similar triangle and apply your similar triangle. Okay, so like I say, this one can be done even if let's say you can't prove it. So I'm going to erase this one first. 
The second part, some students actually get stuck. When they see like the volume of water in the cone is equal to the volume of the empty space, they didn't know what to do. So very simple. If they mention about the volume of the water, and they also mention about the volume of the empty space, you do out the algebra separately first. You try to do out the algebra separately first. So for example, I think the easiest one is actually, I want to get the empty space. Because the empty space is a cone. So this is the empty space with the height and the radius. So if I want to calculate the empty space, so then that will just be like one third times the base area times height. Okay, so that will be the empty space. However, however, because uh just now in my previous um similar triangle, okay, so just now I erased that part already. So in my previous similar triangle, I have H equal to 2R. So I actually can put it inside. So if I have put it inside, I will get 2 third pi R cubed. So that is actually the volume of the empty space. So I've gotten the volume of the empty space. I want to get the volume of the water. So volume of the water, essentially I need the full cone to minus the empty space. So to me, the volume of water is the full cone. So the full cone will be, it's easy because uh, you already got the radius and then the height is 20. So I can just do the full cone, one third pi r squared times height, and then I minus the empty space. So there's a lot of fraction, just don't get thrown off by that. Okay, you just make sure you simplify properly, it's not that bad. So this will be the water. So this is the water. And then this part here is the empty space. So they say that they are equal. So once you find them separately, you just make them equal. So the water volume is the same as the empty space. So you realize these two are identical. So you can actually put, put it over to one side. So if you put it over to one side, it becomes 4 third pi r cubed. Your job is to get d. But however, you got the, the formula. If you can get r, you can get d. So we we'll use the previous formula for d. So D is equal to 20 minus 2R. So from here, I should focus on getting my R. So you can cancel out the pi slowly. Okay, then you should get R cubed equal to this whole fraction divided by 4 third. So you actually get like 500. So R is cube root of 500. You can punch a calculator if you want to. However, I think it's uh, easier if you just plug it inside. Then you go and press calculator. And that's how you get your debt. So basically, if let's say you are stuck on part A, you can actually continue to part B. Okay, part B, simply follow what they say. There's a lot of uh, samples of the O-level question that is always done in this way. So whatever they say, they can talk about volume, they can talk about surface area. Sometimes they are not equal. They can be twice of each other, whatever. You get the separate algebra and then you combine using the info. So apparently a lot of people get stuck. Even if they have given you the information about like, in this case, volume of water is equal to the volume of the empty space. So whatever they say, just do. So there's, there's no reason why you get stuck. If they talk about volume of the empty space, then you go and do out empty space. 
they talk about the volume of the water, you go and do out the volume of the water and just follow accordingly. 